it originally started as a commission uh, for a percussion duet back in, what was it, 2018? Was it 2018, 2017? Uh, I had known Felix uh, from my undergraduate university at SUNY Fredonia, where I was a composition piano major. Felix was a percussion major. And uh, after we both graduated and kind of moved on to our respective states or programs or what have you, Felix reached out to me and asked me if I'd be interested in writing a duet for him and Marcelina. Because I remember, I remember distinctly from Fredonia um, that he was that he's into this you know into the same kinds of music that me and Marcelina are into but also he was he was in a metal band at one point during those years so you know for for me it was a no-brainer to think of him and so having Alan write us this piece was really really special um I haven't worked with someone that I was playing with in an ensemble that was actively writing for us so it was really really cool and Alan's so easy to work with and um really just wrote kind of the perfect first piece for us. I usually like, you know, maybe for a first ensemble piece, uh, some chamber groups aren't as lucky, but I feel like we kind of started off like almost too good. And I was like, oh gosh, who's going to top this? So yeah, really, really grateful to have this piece. You know, it's funny. I feel like the process is kind of a constantly evolving thing. And uh, every time I start a new piece, uh, I kind of, have this moment of like just tabula rasa like i'm doing this for the first time even though of course it's not the first time but you know just with different players different instrumentation uh different concert programs or sort of larger concepts it just always feels like something new so i guess i kind of always go into it with the perspective of this is a beginning Obviously, he didn't need really much of our advice, but if there was any instrument questions, the benefit of us being the same group was that, you know, we could just talk about it. Oh, this is this is uh, how you make this sound or et cetera. And it was much more collaborative. And for example, in this work, we play on some found metal objects and that could kind of mean literally anything because <laughs> metal could be like a car or, you know, a small can. So it was very beneficial to get input on exact sounds. We got to pick like the perfect sounds for um, for this piece. You know, the score has some pretty uh, open-ended sections that are, you know, maybe there, some parts are overly notated. Maybe some parts are like, maybe not notated with enough specificity, but they saw them, they saw the musical shape and the energy and brought it to life. And that helped so much then kind of alter which instruments should be used and what kind of mallet should be used. They just did such a great job of taking, you know, these abstract markings on a piece of paper and, you know, bringing them to life. So uh, the process for this particular piece was kind of coming into it with sound sources, coming into it with, you know, some musical ideas and then really shaping it around how do these, you know, incredibly nuanced performers sort of interpret that and bring it to life on those sounds. And then kind of going through this dialogue and then revising and editing until, you know, eventually we landed on the final piece of music. 